May magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, pagkuha ng roots ng mga polynomials in factored form at in standard form. So, sa so problem number 1, meron tayong x plus 12 multiplied by 2x minus 10 equal to 0. So, sa pagkuha ng roots na ito, gagamitan na natin siya ng zero product property kasi naka-factored form siya. So, we'll have x plus 12 equals 0 at 2x minus 10 equal to 0. So, yung first set natin would be x equal to negative 12 at yung second set natin So, ang roots or solutions or zeros ng ating function would be negative 12 at saka 5. So, yan yung pagkuha ng roots ng polynomial in factored form. So, sa problem number 2 naman, or number 3, let's say we have 10 times x x minus 2 and 4x plus 7 equal to 0. So, meron tayong tatlong factored form ng polynomial. Ito yung 10x equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. At 4x plus 7 equal to 0. So, sa first set natin, x is equal to 0. Yung pangalawa naman is x equal to 2. At yung pangatlo, minus 7 on both sides. So, we'll have 4x equals negative 7. Divide by 4. So, x is equal to negative 7 over 4. So, we have 1, 2, 3 roots ng ating polynomial. Now, yung problem number 5, mapapansin nyo na hindi na siya katulad ng number 1 and 3 kasi hindi siya naka-factored form. So, kailangan natin siyang i-factor using a special um, factoring rule which is yung difference of two squares kasi meron tayong a squared minus b squared. So, alam natin na pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin into a plus b and a minus b. So, sa 36, x squared minus 25 equals 0. Yung 36 at saka yung 25 ay parehas na perfect square. Which means, pag nagkuha tayo ng square root ng 36 at 25, integer or whole number yung ating makukuha. So, ang ating factored form would be 6x minus 5 at 6x plus 5 equal to 0. So, ngayong naka-factor na yung ating polynomial, pwede na natin gamitin yung zero product property. So, we'll have 6x minus 5 equals 0 and 6x plus 5 equal to 0. So, pag so solve na equation, yung unang solution natin would be 5 over 6 At yung pangalawa naman would be x equal to negative 5 all over 6. So yung number 5, gumamit tayo ng uh, factoring using difference of two squares. Na yung pang pito naman, yung 7th natin. So meron tayong 3x squared minus 12x. At mapapansin nyo, unlike number 5, yung 3 at 12 ay hindi perfect square. So gagamitan natin siya ng factoring method using the greatest common factor. At ang greatest common factor ng 7 would be 3x. So kung meron tayong 3x sa labas, so by um, reversing the distributive property, 3x squared divided by 3x is x. At negative 12x divided by 3x is negative 4. 
So, meron tayong 3x times x minus 4. At ngayon, naka-factored form na ulit siya, pwede na natin siyang gamitan ng zero product property. So, dalawa yung solutions ng ating problem number 7 at yun yung 0 at saka yung 4. At sa problem number 9 naman, papansin nyo na hindi rin siya perfect square. So, sa 9, yung 4x cubed minus 32x equal to 0 ay my greatest common factor na 4x. So, we have 4x. At kapag ka nireverse natin yung distributive property, 4x cubed divided by 4x is going to be... Four, I mean, x squared, 4x my, divided by 32x would be negative 8x, or 8. So we'll have 4x times x squared minus 8 equal to 0. Now, gamit ang zero product property, meron tayong 4x is equal to 0, at saka x squared minus 8 equal to 0. So your number, your first set, at yung second set naman, at alam natin na para matanggal yung square, ay take natin yung square root ng both sides. So we'll have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 8 or plus or minus 2 square root of 2. Kasi yung 8 natin, pwede 4 times 2 at ang square root na 4 ay 2. So, ang mga roots natin for number 9 would be x equal to 0, x is equal to 2 square root of 2, at x equals negative 2 square root of 2. So, yan yung pagsagot sa, or pagkuha ng mga roots ng polynomials using factoring at saka yung uh, zero product property.